to Mob TV. All right, my name is Donald and this is Mob TV. We are live at um, Supreme Court of Nigeria, that's in Abuja, the headquarters. <laughs> that's FCT for you. So it's on the case of Ihen Yoha and um, Hope Uzodema. You know, January 14th, um, Ihen Yoha was taken out of office, then um, Hope Uzodema came on board. 15th, he was sworn in. Fifth um, review was submitted. Yesterday, it was um, adjoined till today. So we're waiting till 3 p.m. to know what is actually going to happen because there is a recess right now. And um, I, I'm going to interview a lot of people, or a few people, for you to know what is happening. People have been calling to know. So um, stay tuned. And after the court verdict, we're still going to get people's opinion or people's opinion on how it went. Thank you so much and keep watching. Do not go nowhere. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell. My name is Donald. Bye for now. My name is uh, Gochuko Williams and I'm a national team leader and next generation Nigeria leadership initiative. Uh, I'm at the Supreme Court, the highest court of the land in Nigeria to witness the case between Right Honorable Mecca in Hedio and hope also the member of APC. So far, the case, the justice of the federation of the Supreme Court, have heard their cases and have also uh, joined for judgment to three o'clock. And uh, why filing their cases? I know this honourable court is a just court and is spring and final. Their decision today will be spring and final, and uh, I know they will do justice to the requests of the uh the two parties requesting for justice uh, we are here at the supreme court in connection with the uh, application for review put forward by the pdp uh, against uh, the declaration of the supreme court of his excellency governor hopus odema as governor of uh, imo state uh, following an adjournment that came from yesterday to, to today. That case has been heard. All the uh, parties in the matter have addressed the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has gone on recess now and we're waiting for judgment by 3 p.m. Uh, but we have no doubt that uh, the judgment will come the way the Supreme Court had earlier pronounced it, and that is Senator Hope Zodema remains the governor of Imo State for the next four years. So we don't expect anything uh, to the contrary. So that's the situation now. So the waiting, the waiting game continues at 3 p.m. when uh, his lordships will come in and uh, do the need for. Anyway, I'm here with uh, Mob TV and I'm happy with the proceedings so far at the Supreme Court and uh, the justices have uh, actually uh, stood down and uh, they've gone for recess. They will reconvene very soon. So far, so good. I'm so happy with the proceeding and uh, we've seen the way it is going. At the end of the day, I'm sure that justice will be done to this matter today. At the Supreme Court in Abuja, and we are here witnessing the Supreme Court's um, judgment review on the Imo State gubernatorial election. Um, so far, so good. It has been a very tight one, <laughs> tight one indeed. Um, the the petition, um, not the petition as well, the petition has both um, the respondents, applicants, and um, who is Ihe Dionha and the appellant respondent who is Hopu Zodima have made their several submissions and um, Ihe Dionha through his counsel, lead counsel Kano Agabi is, is making a submission or made a submission that the Supreme Court can can review its judgment. He stated that based on the provisions of the constitution which vested um, the Supreme Court with the rights to be supreme in the land has also made provisions that the Supreme Court can review its judgment. He stated the points, misrepresentation, fraud, and um, uh, he really anchored the misrepresentation or the totality of his submission was based on misrepresentation and also on fraud. However, the counsel for 
Purpose Zodi Man APC, Didi Dodo, also made his own submission and <laughs> told the court that the court cannot review his own judgment. Neither can we now ask the court, which is supreme, to review his judgment. Well, we are very expectant and waiting for 3 p.m. to come, and we are hopeful that justice would reign. And that is what we are looking forward to in everything. Thank you very much. Mob TV. Six to one, six man justices deciding in favor of um, Senator Hope is Odima and one dissenting judgment by Honorable Justice Sentus Uweze. And to the effect that in other jurisdictions of the world, um, decisions of the APES court have been reviewed due to injustice, just decision raised in part in Kiriam. And going by his own reasoning, that this decision ought to be reviewed. But due to the nature of the Supreme Court, going by six to one, justice was given in favor of Hope Uzodima. Thank you very much. Well, it's exactly what I expected, you know. Like to say, when it comes to the legal system, the Supreme Court should be the final, and their justice should be the final say when it comes to the hierarchy of the legal system. I am proud that I can say when I go out in public, in the diaspora, internationally and otherwise, that the Nigerian court system uphold the justice that they gave between His Excellency Governor Hope Uzotima versus Emeka Inhedioha, the justice prevails. Supremacy is final, and final it is the answer. Congratulations, Nigeria. Congratulations to our legal system, because if this was the other way, it would have been a tsunami come 2023. It means the Supreme Court will be shooting themselves on the leg, because every justice that they give, everybody will come back for them to review it. So like he said, they've lost a lot of calories. It's going to take a lot of calories for them to come back to deliver justices like this. Congratulations to the team the in Tanko I'm very proud to be Nigerian and I'm very proud of our supreme system okay, what's the name, my name is Jennifer Oguzi senior legislative aide to deputy senate president thank you well it's a landmark judgment yeah, we didn't expect more than that we didn't expect more than this we know the law is a trite law the supreme court cannot overrule itself it cannot overrule itself and uh, we have uh, one dissenting judgment, and uh, the person was not among the panel of uh, judges that uh, decided the matter before. But he is entitled to his own opinion. Very high. That will show you that judiciary is uh, independent, that uh, they write uh, the judgment independently. And so, but uh, having a six or a seven is a good, uh, it's a good, it's a clear judgment. It's a clear judgment. It's a clear judgment. Thank you, sir. Uh, yes. So, what do you expect from the the, the winner today? What do you expect w from? The what we want in Imo State is peace. We we don't have that hatred. We have created that hatred in Imo State that I don't want that hatred. Then we should imbibe peace, knowing fully well that we don't have any other state to go. We don't have any other place to go. For us, like uh, we home base, where are we running to? Our business, our offices, what we do is within Imo State or where. Our house, our office is in Owerri, unlike some other people that have second home. I, as a person, I don't have second home. So anything humanly possible that we will do to bring Imo people together, Knowing fully well, whether you are in PDP or APC or any other party, Imo is our own. Imo will kind. So where are we going to? So we are not just, just to go and spoil the, the uh, Imo, a peaceful time because of uh, politics. Uh, we wait, and I believe that uh, politics is a game. Why? You expect two things. You either win or you lose. And you expect the result either way. Today, I expected this uh, judgment because it's very, very difficult for uh, the Supreme Court to overrule uh, its, uh, itself. So you cannot appeal on their judgment.